So we couldn't go to Los Angeles without stepping foot in the dazzling Hollywood, where this photographer has done it all. She signed a record deal as a teen, she does voiceovers, and she just so happens to catch those little actors on her camera right before they go big. And today, she's giving us a peek to a couple of future stars. Go get your teenagers, these are cuties. This road is yeah. going to end. We are at uh, the top of Hollywood, over by the Hollywood sign. Yeah, yeah I can see it right here. So, yeah. yeah, and actually, I've never been up here before, so this is a treat for me so too. Welcome to Hollywood. That's right. <laughs> I specialize in working with teenage teenagers and uh, kids, celebrities. Yeah. Um, so I've shot everyone from like Zac Efron, Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus. Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, you name it. Yeah. I've shot them. Originally from Sacramento, which is up north, capital. Lived there most of my life and actually lived in Germany for three years when I was a kid. And moved here when I was 19 to actually pursue um, acting. Ended up getting into music. So I was in a singing group and we got the record deal and everything like that. And then I started doing voiceover and I do well, anything from like commercials to narration, uh, animation, voiceover uh, for video games. Um, play old, you know. The grandma. You know, I can play the grandmas, I can play, you know. Little kids. You know, um. See the grandma Oh, oh, I just love your shirt, darling. Where'd you get it from? A JCPenney. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was always really into photography. I actually started shooting, um, I was friends with this group called Menudo. The Ricky Martin was in Menudo. And so I would hang out with them and I would shoot them in concert and things like that. And everyone would tell me how great the pictures looked. And it was like, I just loved the feeling of seeing that final image and just, you know, like, wow, I shot that. I actually ended up at the Young Hollywood Awards at Universal Studios, had my point and shoot. And of course, all the other photographers were like, what are you doing here? <laughs> but you know, I was like, I am here. I'm going to shoot these celebrities. And um, I met another guy there, another photographer. And he kind of told me all about the red carpet business and told me how to get in, told me who to call, the publicist. And, and so I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this, you know? So I ended up doing that for like uh, six years or so, six, seven years. With the pub, you know, the relationships I built with all the publicists, I started asking them, hey, you know, can I do some shoots? And I bought um, studio lighting, figured out how to use it, <laughs> um, took like an online course, yeah. and um, just trial and error, really. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, started doing shoots. How is it juggling motherhood and living and breathing photography and working? And how is it voiceover? Yeah, it's juggling? hard. I mean, it's sometimes it gets really hard to you know, uh, juggle all those things and make sure that you prioritize your family life, you know, I mean, he's, he, I love my son, he's, you know, the most important thing in the world to me, so it's like, I want to make sure I spend time with him and, you know, give him the attention and, and that he needs and, um, oh, and my husband too, but also I need, I have a business, I have two businesses really, you know, I'm a photographer and an actor, so, um, you know, it just gets hard sometimes to juggle all of that. Um, well, I've shot Zac Efron, um, and I actually did, a, well, I knew him from, uh, he used to be on a show called Summerland with Jesse McCartney, and I would photograph Jesse, and I saw Zac, and I'm like, okay, hey, that kid is, you know, he's got something. So the day before High School Musical 1 came out, I did a shoot with him, and um, spec shoot, um, which is basically, it's not for anyone in particular. Um, we do a shoot, and I pitch it to all the magazines. So I did a shoot with Zach um, the day before High School Musical came out. And at that time, he didn't really know, you know, is this gonna, is he gonna you know, be big or not? And you know, who knew? Um, but to this day, he still says that like, that's the most famous shoot he's ever done. Cause that, that shoot ran everywhere, you know, nationwide, worldwide. Um, but I've shot like Jonas Brothers right before they signed with Disney. And I don't know, I just kinda 
Look out. I don't know. It's just something that I... I don't know. I, I pay attention to the magazines. And I, you know, I just have a feeling. I don't know. It's some feeling, you know, that um, if I see them, I'm, you know... Well, back then it was like a red carpet or something like that. Or a set visit. Um, but even if they just... You know, if I see them on a t TV show, Disney show or Nickelodeon or whatever it is, and I catch a glimpse, I'm like, okay, that kid is going to do something. So this is your studio? It is. Yeah. Melrose Light Space. Been here for about 11 years. Uh -huh. And you're right in the heart. Tell us where we're at. We are on the Melrose Strip, in right, right at the border of Hollywood and West Hollywood. Yeah. Um, what used to be one of the most you know, popular shopping destinations in LA. I use a lot of antique cameras. I collect antique cameras, and uh, I like the, uh, the kind of unpredictable qualities you can get with them. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll make an image, and, uh, and then I'll print it on usually a, a kind of a large uh, format, um, four foot by six foot and then I'll mount it on a panel and then start working back into it with oils and acrylics and, and then paint strippers and just to build texture and kind of a physical quality to the work. Um, and, uh, and then I will build kind of a, a heavy frame around it. So it's got a lot of object quality. It becomes a lot more than just the image. It becomes about sort of the context of, of uh, you know, taking an, uh, an image that is made by some, a camera from the 20s and produced in a, in a uh, sort of contemporary um, context. If you're, a, if you're a photographer who's just starting out, um, you know, the most important thing is that you build a good team, uh, hair and makeup artists, wardrobe stylists, um, so that when you do get a good job, you're able to uh, you know, have a, a team together um, that you know, they know you, they know your style, you work well together. Um, also a really good assistant is, actually that's probably the best advice I can give any photographer starting out. Get to know some really good assistants, even if you have to pay them top dollar. Because the bottom line is, when the, when the shoot is done, if the pictures don't look good, uh, you're not going to get another job. So even if you have to pay most of your fee to the, to the assistant, um, they'll make sure you look good. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to try to get, you know, the hot pinup boy kind of shots. And I'm, yeah, I'm just shooting with two lights, something, you know, simple. I like to try to be as simple as possible because um, I'd like to do a lot of changes and it's easier when you're working with less lights. Yeah. So main light and I have a backlight lighting, lighting that. Um, I shoot at generally a 200 ISO with a shutter speed of 250 and Aperture of like five six. And you've got your seventy to two hundred. I do seventy two hundred. lens? It is my favorite too. lens. I mean, I, I have quite a few lenses, but I this is like my go-to lens. Yeah. Um, I can get real close up, you know, for the headshots, and then I can just move back and get a full length. Assistant. Yeah. To the assistant. Okay. The assistant. Um, the comic relief. Comic relief. The. The eye candy. The eye candy. Yeah, the, Just the muscles. What up? Muscles, what up? The. <laughs> oh yeah, the reflector guy. The, the when reflector she shoulder. Older. You're actually an actor. Yeah. Okay. So where do you, what do you do? What have you been on? Um. Nothing yet, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. This could be it. This could be your but somebody's watching your agent number. <laughs> That's right. Okay, cool. So um, you're gonna sit here and roll for us for a second. Okay. We just want to see what you do. Okay, roll. Go. Right, see what you got. This is his time. Nice. What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Looking at 
So she's doing makeup on Fievel, and she already has flawless skin. So what do you usually do with these girls that have flawless skin? With young girls and with boys, you know, you usually just do, you know, everyone has dark around the eyes mm -hmm. and just any blemishes, um, even at the skin tone. Yeah. Um, you know, when they're younger, I try not to block out all their freckles and that because you want them yeah. to shine Thank through. You. What did you do on her eyes? Okay, well, with the eyes, you know, today we did a smoke. Well, we've been up. Upping it the whole time. Yeah, um, make it darker. Yeah, yeah, and so kind of edgy. And yeah, 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 we're going edgier at the end. Mainly today, I wanted to just get some uh, new stuff of Boo Boo because the last time I shot him was, I want to say, not not quite a year ago, but um, he's changed a little bit. <laughs> so get some new stuff of him for the magazines, you know, for pinups and posters, kind of the hot guy look, um, and then him with his sister for you know music and whatnot, and um, just get as you know many looks as I can, which we got, I think we got three, three or three and a half, four. Uh -huh. um, that's the one thing with working with, especially teen magazines, they mm -hmm. run through those looks like crazy. So it's like, you need to try to get as many looks as you can to where the magazine can use it, you know, one month. And then the next month they can use the other next look, you know, so it's not like, oh, they're all shot in the same day. You yeah. know, it's like different looks. Yeah. Um, so that's what I was trying to do and just get some shots of them together. And also I think they would, you know, they want to use some stuff for their, you know, website and stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, he's going to, you know, especially him. I mean, he's he, this gonna, you know, he's gonna take off. Yeah. Um, and just they're really great kids. I mean, they're really, really good. And their music's, you know, really fun. And I wanted to do a shoot with him because I knew he was gonna be in Twilight. Mm -hmm. And you know, anybody who's in Twilight, sure. you know. Um, so I think I, I think I must have contacted his agent, or you know, that's generally how I do it. Like if I see someone I'm interested in, I'll contact either if they have a publicist. Mm -hmm. Or manager, agent, whoever they have, and just you know say, hey, you know, I'm Rena Durham. Check out my website, my work. If you don't, you know, not familiar with me, and I'd love to do a shoot. I would say definitely build, you know, a good solid portfolio, uh -huh. and shoot any celebrities you can because if you have any names in there, you know, it's gonna bring more validation to your work and help you get into that door. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, you definitely need to be like L.A. or New York, you know, where celebrities are. Uh -huh. um, but I would just start sending like emails, contacting like, yeah, publicists and mm -hmm. um, managers, agents, and introducing yourself as a photographer mm -hmm. and even telling them, say, hey, you know, I'm starting to build, you know, my portfolio for my celebrity clientele. And if you have anyone that would like to do, sh you know, spec, spec shoots with, you know, I'd love to do that. And I mean, that's what I did. I had publicists that I knew and I said look you know um, I'd love to shoot them and let's so I started shooting and then I build my portfolio and then mm -hmm. so I had a few names in there and that opened the doors for you know more shoots mm -hmm. and then meanwhile I submitted those pictures to magazines and say here this is the stuff that I've shot and they started running them so then you have tear sheets you have you know they're in print like hey you know I was just on the cover of pop star or tiger beat or whatever and then you know that's pretty much how it, you know snowballs from there
Yeah, I shot with her like right when I got the like, We actually right after did I a photo the shoot the I house. I think it was like the, the first time I shot with Ren I think was this, like right after I got the part of uh, in Twilight. And it's one of the first people we did a photo shoot with. Yeah. And uh, it was cool. Yeah, Very good time. she's like, so fun. We shot with her, I think this is our third time shooting mm -hmm. with Rena. And uh, every time it's been really great. Obviously there's thousands of fans out there that love Twilight. And tell us how you're connected to Twilight. Um, well, it was, a, it was a crazy story. Um, I was in a Dis Walt Disney singing group a while ago, and some of the fans kept in contact through MySpace and stuff, and they told me about this character, Seth Clearwater, and Eclipse in the next book. And um, I missed the auditions, because I, I, I knew about it too late. My agent got me in for the callback, so I was the last person to be seen. My character is the only character that gets along with everybody. Like, he doesn't care if you're like a shapeshifter or a vampire or a human. He just likes everybody. Yeah. I'm um, Laura Baden, it's called Boom and Five Stir, and I always sister plays bass. I play piano, sing, and. I play guitar and sing. Yeah. Um, it's electro pop rock. It's um, Everyone thinks that we're like pop Disney kids, but if you listen to our music, it's like more rock. You wouldn't wow. expect it. So, I mean, yeah, we actually have two shows coming up. You can look up the uh, details at www.boomandfivewall.com. We're always giving, going to yeah. church, like oh, Alley Mission. Los Angeles Mission is a big one. We do every uh, Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And sometimes Christmas. Um, we're really big we on saving animals. animals. Like, uh, I don't eat meat yeah. anymore. It changed. And I actually got my bigger sister not to eat meat. And uh, we actually adopted a cat and a dog from the shelter. And um, We're involved with Child Help. Child Help. It's so they help uh, children, children that have been abused. Yeah. And uh, it's really, they have actually villages where, at one village in Belmont, I think, they have 84 kids staying there. They we actually visited. school them, they yeah. pay for the food. There's animals, there's like a little like a zoo type of thing where you can go and visit the animals, and there's school, and like it's, it's really awesome. Like, don't give up no matter what anyone says. I mean, like, if someone's like trying to bring you down, like, don't listen. Like, I don't just go for your dreams. You get rejected a lot. Yeah, you get like, rejected a lot. Um, but like if you really want it, you gotta go for it, and you can't give up. So I mean, like we have like people around us that love us and help us. So I mean, that's really good also. Well, for myself, whenever I um, would do a good job. Uh, by good job, I mean a, a job with a good paycheck. Um, I would uh, I'd spend some of that money on renting some gear and experimenting and, and doing a test shoot with a model that I wanted to work with or um, you know some gear that I wanted to try. Uh, and, uh, and a lot of times what I would do is, is if I wanted to shoot a certain style, then I would shoot that style and put that in my book because then it, chances are, if I if a, a client sees that in your book and says, "Oh, I like that," you know, then you get to keep shooting that style. Don't try and be something you're not. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, if if uh, you know, you'll you'll run into situations where an art director will say, "We love your work. Can you make it look like this guy's?" You know, and, and they don't want to hire that guy because that guy charges you know 20 grand a day or something like that. And I've had that happen a couple times, and I scratch my head like, "Gee, why do they call me?" You know, but um, so just uh, try and, and uh, develop your own style. That'll happen naturally, of course. Um, but you know, keep experimenting and keep trying new things, and you'll you'll eventually develop, uh, you know, your own sort of voice. I want to continue just doing, you know, photography that is creative. I don't want to ever get into like a rut where I'm just doing it like same old thing, same old thing, and you know, like you get burnt out like that. So I want to always be, you know, um, inspired and creative and think outside the box and try new things and continually grow as an, um, I don't say as an, an artist, but yeah. as a photographer, an artist, you know, um, I feel like you should always be a lifelong learner and learn new things. And um, as far as my career, I mean, I would like to just continue the celebrity, you know, photography and, you know, I've been working with teen magazines for the longest time. I wouldn't mind working with some other kind of magazines, you know. Um, I like with like Teen Vogue. I mean, that's still teen, but it's like fashion. It's ed more editorial. I, I love that. And with, I mean, with like Tiger Beat, and I, you know, I like I love working with them. But it's very um, portrait driven. You know, they want the posters and stuff. Whereas Teen Vogue is more like fashion. And so I, I would love to get more into that style, and you know, kind of pursue that in that vein. 
Um, but yeah, I like. I still would like to work with teens. I, I like doing that. Hi, I'm Peter Michelena, owner of Melrose Light Space Studio in West Hollywood. I'm a photographer, painter, fine artist, and I've just been framed. Hey, what's up? It's Bible Stewart. I'm Bible Stewart. And we've, we've just, just been, been framed. framed. <laughs> Hello, darlings. I'm Rena Durham, and I'm a photographer. I'm a mother, I, I'm a wife, and a brilliant voiceover actress. Yes, indeed. And, oh, oh, by Joe, I've been framed. <laughs> <laughs>